Oh, did he fall? Or is he just resting? I think he just resting. Okay. Oh, no, he fell. Oh, man. Welcome guys back to the video. We are in North Carolina, Tennessee area, and we're at Tale of the Dragon, and uh, we got an RCF. So if you've been watching the channel and been keeping up with all the episodes, you'd know that. So if you missed that, definitely go back, check that out. But if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, just be sure to leave a like on today's video and drop a comment as well. But with all that said, we're just letting cars warm up kind of getting ready gonna mount all the cameras and then after that we're gonna head out so I will uh, mount you guys up and uh, we're gonna go slay the dragon but here's a better look at the RCF 5.0 liter v8 this one does have a cat back exhaust so it sounds excellent and uh, the owner told me it's tuned so I don't know how believable that is but I mean here's a look at the interior the seats are pretty freaking the, the interior itself is sus but it's not my car I'm just gonna send it guys so I'm with Adam he rode with me unfortunately his Z did not make it which sucks so bad but I am with Cameron and Austin two guys in front of me all right guys so I don't know how well you can see but we are at the border we're in between Tennessee and North Carolina um, right now we just want to create a little bit of a gap so we can have fun going down and uh, yeah but we are in a 2015 RCF and uh, that's kind of what we're working with like I said before Adam his Z it broke right before the tail so that really sucks but it's misfiring. yeah it's misfiring the day before we bring it so I'm not gonna do too much talking I'm gonna just do more driving focus but this is kind of just gonna be a you know a warm-up lap get a feel for the car get some seat time I've only been to the tail one other time, so I'm gonna try to memorize kind of the turns and the, you know, all the chicanes and stuff, so. to get a clean run right now um, I was trying to come here at like 8 a.m. but we ran into some complications like I said with Adam's car and it kind of pushed us back so now there's a lot of traffic so it's really hard to get a clean run unfortunately but I will try my best hopefully people can just pull off but I've been told by other drivers that there's a lot of traffic and people just aren't so I'm hoping today if I can get one clean run in you know We'll see. All right, so he's pulling off. Oh man. Perfect. All right guys, I think we got a good enough gap built up. So we're gonna send it. a little boaty right 
right there. Yeah, it, it transfers compared to the Porsche. This is super tight. Yeah, I don't want to get overzealous though. Brakes are phenomenal though. It's one thing I'll give the RCF. This thing can stop. Oh, that was tight. Yeah. Austin, that's the one that's gonna kill this run. <laughs> but it's his first time. It's super fun. It's just really intense at the same time. And you always have to be like, you always have to have like tunnel vision because through here, dude, you never know. Oh, did he fall? Or is he just resting? Okay. Oh man, you sure? She just resting. Yeah, they did fall. I don't know if you guys saw that. There's some motorcyclists that just fell, so. Gotta be so careful. Even in eco mode, guys, because this thing has a cat back on it, it's still, you can hear it. You can hear the V8 presence, but. Some of you guys might not know about the Tale of the Dragon, so I'll just briefly tell you. Uh, it's pretty much some windy roads that go in between Tennessee and North Carolina. So in total, there's uh, about 318 turns, and it's 11 miles long. Nice little Civic right there. But a lot of people come every single day. They travel hundreds of thousands of miles to drive this scenic route. And uh, that's exactly why we're here, you know? That's why we make the journey all the way from Florida. And uh, it's kind of like a tradition to me, so I'd love to just keep coming back and coming back. And uh, yeah, it's great, unless when it's not great. <laughs> but you guys can't really experience it through the camera, but we're feeling G's right now, and I'm not even going 30%. So I guess since we're kind of just chilling, throw it back in eco. I can go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about the RCF, just in terms of like my opinion on the car. I have ridden passenger in one of these. My friend Jaden has one back home and uh, I kind of got a feel for it, but after driving this car for about two days now, I think I can say a couple things about it. Wow, they're moving. For one, the car definitely feels boaty. It's not an ISF. It doesn't handle as good as an ISF which I've driven one of those as well. The car feels extremely boaty and you can feel the weight transfer a lot. Um, the braking is excellent. There's never any brake fade and I know I'm not pushing the car now, but I was pushing it on some back roads last night and the braking is excellent. The acceleration is great, absolutely. Magnificent acceleration from that 5.0 liter. V8. That being said, obviously because it's a coupe design, visibility kind of sucks. I would say that this car is more tailored as like a Grand Tour because it was super comfortable to drive for a long distance on the highway. But it does have a lot of sportiness to it as well, so you can get away with a lot. And it works well on roads like this, you know, back roads. Um, you can take your car to the track. I don't know if you'd want to take one of these stock to a racetrack. It might not do too good. But uh, I'm sure with the right mods. Yeah, it's for that biker back there that fell off. But like I was saying, I'm sure with the right mods to this, I'm sure it would be a pretty, pretty good track car. And they also have the RCF track edition if you're a baller and you want to spend a hundred grand on an RCF. But with all that said, 
doesn't handle as well as like a boxer which is what i rented last year but it does have more power so it offers a totally different driving experience at the same time you kind of got an old school throaty v8 this car is filled with a bunch of luxury sporty bucket seats alcantara carbon fiber uh, it has active aero like the wing on the back goes up at certain speeds i i do like this car and uh, with that being said i think we created a good amount of space Gonna let this ambulance go by. Well, no, nah, we're going up. acceleration and the sound and I love that single clutch transmission I forget what it's called but it's not a DCT uh, this thing it, it does shift really fast for a single clutch though but uh, when you when it shifts just like an Aventador with that single clutch it punches you so even though this car is not like a manual the feeling isn't totally dead you can still feel the presence of the car you can feel things working always go slow here they like to cross there a lot Thank you. 